I think the easy answer to that is the people. Um, I thought that not only does UNMC from the residency through all of the fellowships have very comprehensive and excellent training programs, but uh, the people that are involved with it from the faculty to the office staff to your co-trainees are all excellent people that help you get through tough days and uh, those times when uh, you know the training program uh, has factors aside from what you're supposed to know that can make it challenging. A couple strengths of the program at, at the University of Nebraska is our echocardiography training. Um, I think we spend a lot of time and effort uh, to give you a really good education in echo. Uh, we spend some time early with some uh, boot camp where you have a couple weeks of focused education in echo and then we spend uh, weekly conferences on echo and you get one-to-one -one staffing with, uh, with each case to where you can spend that time um, doing the echo but also discussing and learning uh, from a faculty who has the time to spend with you because they're not distracted by another case. Well, I think that we have a fantastic training program, in part because we have a lot of the basic cardiac anesthesia cases that somebody's going to need to see in order to feel really competent when they're done, but we also have a lot of the rare cases, unusual cases, high impact cases. We do a lot of heart transplants and mechanical support devices. We do a lot of ECMO cases, we do lung transplants, and um, congenital cases. So I think they'll get a combination of both. Uh, the kind of straightforward cardiac anesthesia stuff and then some of the high intensity things that they may see kind of in a uh, more specialized academic practice when they're done. I was very pleased with my training at UNMC. I think I was prepared to go into a uh, career of whatever choosing I um, decided upon, whether it was academic or uh, private practice. Um, also, uh, general cases, I have used my uh, TTE skills, which um, I think is pretty unique to UNMC. I've used them multiple times uh, just to take a look at fluid status, uh, unexplained hypotension, um, things like that. And I think that's been very beneficial uh, to me and my patients. Um, so for all those reasons, uh, I've been very happy with my training uh, at UNMC and how it's prepared me to go into private practice. Probably the most important thing is just trustworthy, reliable, dependable, you know, a good, good, honest person to work with, uh, easy to get along with. Those are some of the qualities that I would look for. I'm looking for someone who's hardworking, someone who's dedicated to our specialty, and I'm looking for someone who's really open to learn. I think uh, when people come out of their training, they already know how to do anesthesia, and when they come to our program, we have to kind of show them our way of doing anesthesia and, and we teach them a lot of echo. And so I'm really looking for someone who not only is well trained, but is still open to new ideas, new ways of thinking of things. I want the fellow to be able to handle anything that comes in front of them, whether that's a really complex cardiac case or that's a complex non-cardiac case. I want them to be able to do a transesophageal echo and a transthoracic echo. I want them to be able to put a really, really sick patient with aortic stenosis for a gallbladder to sleep and I want them to be able to put a tamponade patient to sleep and feel like they're really well trained and they have enough experience to do that in a safe and efficient manner. I, I hope that somebody who finishes the program here not only is excellently trained as a clinician um, and excellent as an echocardiographer, but also somebody who has learned a little bit about how to model their career and their life and their work-life balance. Um, learning a little bit of those untangible skills uh, about how to be happy and how to make a career that lasts your lifetime.